When we call a vate, we're usually just scouting and seeing what's coming. Um, trying to keep the weeds, you know, so they don't really get established. While earlier cultivation passes require more care and attention to detail, later cultivation passes require keeping a close eye on fields to know when it's time to get back out there. As crops and weeds get bigger, they grow faster and weeds can quickly grow beyond what is manageable with a cultivator. If you're starting to see a get taller or growing, you're probably too late. Um, I like to see them when they're just emerging, maybe one or two leaves out. I watch the weeds. Um, it depends on the weather too. You know, if I cultivate, say, a week after I the corn emerges or the soybean emerges, uh, uh, it, it could be four days after my first cultivating, I could be back out there cultivating again, depending on weed, weed pressure. If you have a lot of weed pressure, you need, you need to stay on top of it. The number of cultivator passes varies a lot and depends on weather, weed conditions, crop growth, and more. We try and do it in two passes. Uh, if the year is, is, is more difficult for weeds, we'll, we'll go out and do a third pass if when we scout we're seeing lots of pressure still. I, I hope to cultivate three times. Um, last year it was only once, um, especially on the corn because it was just too wet. But if the plants can get to a, to a point where they're going to compete well and a third cultivation really won't do any good, we'll, we'll, we won't do a third pass. I try and do it in two if I can. You've got to get that last cultivation in before it canopies and gets closed up and that could be the, the third cultivation of total because you started right after the crop green came out of the ground and then one in between that. So you got a variety that stands more straight, straight up, you might have to have that fourth pass at the end uh, depending on weather conditions. As it gets later in the year, farmers are generally moving from going slow and being careful around the plant to trying to speed up and throw as much soil as possible. At first cultivation, you know, you're going very slow, trying to throw just a little bit of loose dirt over to those small weeds. At second cultivation, you may have some three, four, five inch tall weeds at that point. Then you can get really aggressive, moving a lot of soil and trying to bury those, ro those weeds in that um, next to the row. Once the, the plant gets up and it's out of the ground well, then you can speed up a little and you can go a little deeper. Speed is what throws that dirt and if you get behind throwing that dirt is sometimes what what can make it look better. And then second pass where we're generally going pretty quickly um, and we're just trying to cut where we can cut and throw a good amount of dirt where we can't get to with the mechanical cultivator. And then once it's really established and up maybe your last cultivation you can probably <clears throat> actually keep, get it up out of the ground, but you can go a lot faster then because you really want to move the dirt. Because the only way you can get it with that cultivator then is to get that dirt thrown into the row to get those weeds that are growing in the row because you, your cultivator won't, won't get into the row. It'll only be between the rows. Eric likes a buffalo cultivator on later passes because it enables him to throw lots of soil. Second or third cultivation or always use a buffalo basically or a single sweep just because at that point your weeds are big that big sweep you can, it's easy to get set deep enough they have enough weight to get deep to get underneath and cut out the roots or move you know three four inches of soil around that base of that plant and bury the the weeds right next to the row